Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices in the United States and the big tech stocks as well. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 6, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our courses and online trades. The link is down below. So as you can see, we're start by looking at the S&P 500 and we have rallied quite significantly today. We're up uh, 0 0.76 and uh, the 20 exponential moving average is basically the floor in this market. Uh, the target now is, is uh, 3,800. We'll probably get there within one or two trading days. It will probably be back and forward. There's going to be quite a lot of noise due to the basically certification of the U.S. election and so on. And uh, yes, that will not be good for basically anybody. Uh, um, Joe Biden will be president, but, uh, but the Republicans basically will make a lot of noise and that will probably affect the market um, slightly, not significantly, really doesn't have anything to do with the economics or the financial markets. So, but it will basically be bad news and that will probably have it will basically go back and forward. But at this point, technical indicators are favoring the upside in this market. You can see the 20 exponential is holding. We did break through it yesterday, but we pulled back straight away. And today we are rallying and that is a very good sign. You can see it here in the bullish band. We are we have some um, movement to the upside still before we go, go past. So when we get to 3,754, this market is going to be quite stretched and we'll probably have a pullback after that. But we will see um, quite a big move. And I think that is going to be basically coincided with the, with, the, um, with the inauguration of Joe Biden and so on. There will be more stability when he basically is inaugurated because everything is basically going to be over then. And I think that the market is going to see it as a very positive outcome. So if you look at the other technical indicators, the MACD is still trading underneath the signal line. It's still bullish. The RSI is very bullish. There's still room to the upside. The CCI is bullish, but the stochastic is bearish at this point. So we could see some kind of choppiness, but definitely 3,800, uh, 3, that is the target. And probably within a month or a month and a half, we'll go to 4,000. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Same thing here. We tested, we could say the 40 exponential moving average yesterday. When we broke down quite significantly, we were actually down uh, roughly 2.58% uh, yesterday. And then we rallied again. As you can see, we're up 0.77% uh, at this current stage. And there is quite a lot of room to the upside. We're only at 62 in the RSI. Technical indicators are turning around for this market. There is also room here, for example, in the bullish band. We're not at the top yet, but we could see some choppiness. Pullbacks um, are basically a buying opportunity at, at this point. The closer that we get to the 20 exponential, basically the cheaper this market gets. So no interest in basically shorting this. This market is going to go to 30 uh, 30,500 and then 31,000 and beyond that 31,500 and so on. So let's look at the NASDAQ. Same thing here. We have rallied yet uh, again today. We basically tested a 20 exponential yesterday and then today we are rallying. So 0 0.75 is, um, is the market saying today we're trading at 12,790. If we can pass the 12,800, then we'll most likely go into 13,000. And when we get to 13,000, we'll probably have some kind of pullback. So um, good idea to basically cash out at that level. So most likely pullback when we get to 13,000 back towards the 20 exponential, and then we'll go to 13,500 will be the next target. You can see here, there's quite a lot of room to the upside in the bullish band. So the top of the bullish band, that's roughly 12,977. So that is basically where you should get out of the market before it gets to uh, 13,000. Technical indicators are, well, they're not very bullish at this point. So we could see some kind of, uh, some choppiness. We're on the edge of being overbought at this point, 
but this market can go all the way up to roughly 80 in the RSI before it basically drops. But no interest in basically selling this. It's basically every single dip towards the 20 exponential or a little bit lower than that is basically buying opportunities at this point. So let's look at the tech stocks. So Apple. So we bought into Apple yesterday around this area here. Our target is the previous highs here, roughly 138. This market is just, is going to go higher, at least towards the top of the bullish band. That is uh, 137 at this current stage. So technical indicators, they are still not turning around completely, but I expect tomorrow to be a fairly good day. We'll most likely go and test 134 in tomorrow's session. So no interest that basically it's shorting this. The 20 exponential is basically the bottom of this market and this will only go higher. So Amazon, same thing here. We had quite a nasty fall, roughly 6.7%. Today we are rallying at roughly 1% and um, tomorrow we'll most likely go and target uh, these previous highs here of 3,271 uh, and then beyond that. Technical indicators for Amazon stock are still fairly bearish at this current stage, so we could see some kind of pullback before we go higher in the tomorrow's session. So Microsoft, we have rallied just 0 0.12% uh, today, but this is looking really good for Microsoft stock. We had this massive fall here towards the 50 moving average, found support, Roughly, we fell roughly 5.27%, and now we're ready to rally again. So our target are these previous highs here, and that's roughly 5.6% uh, before we find any kind of uh, major resistance. So in the long run, we are going to test these previous highs here. That's roughly 8.29%. That'll probably take a few weeks, probably months, until we get to that level. But these previous highs, that is very possible. So let's look at Facebook. Facebook has been doing dreadfully in the last few days. I've been this one stock I've been holding on for quite a long time. It just won't break the 50 moving average. We are finding uh, resistance yet again here at the 100 moving average. But when we break these moving averages, this is just going to uh, rally quite significantly. So both Facebook and uh, Google, for example, have had a lot of bad stories going for them in the last few weeks. And they're probably the reason why uh, these two stocks haven't rallied as much as the other stocks have. But in the long run, this is going to rally significantly. You can see that 150 is moving up this way. When we get close to that, this is going to basically shoot uh, all the way up towards uh, 293 and probably also the older has at 305. So technical indicators for um, for Facebook, they are looking, they are basically improving. We see the RSI is bullish, the CCI is becoming bullish and the stochastic is turning around, but the MACD is still bearish at this current stage. So Tesla, I expected a major pullback in Tesla today and that probably will happen tomorrow. As you can see, we are twice outside of the bullish band here. And usually what happens then is that we pull back towards the middle of the bullish band and that is roughly uh, down 8.5%. And that is basically your next entry point. We are on the edge of being overbought. We are overstretched here. So buying at this stage is just nuts. So just wait for the pullback towards the 20. And then you can enter again for a plausible trade of roughly 8%. Or, or even higher than that. So Google, we are, it is basically showing more life now. We found the bottom here, roughly 1711. Technical indicators are turning around for the stock. At this point, we are most likely going to target the top of the bullish band that is 1811. That is these previous highs here before we pull back. So that is roughly, um, a raise of 5.08% uh, before we have the next pullback. But we rallied significantly here for a very long time. So pullbacks like these, they are expected. You can't rally forever, but we have found the floor and now it looks like we are ready to go back rallying. 
So Netflix, we had this nasty fall here at roughly 5.58%, and we're stuck here at the 20 exponential moving average. So is finding support here? That's a very good news. And the target here is mostly the highs of the bullish band. That's roughly 533. That's roughly 4.13% uh, before we have our next pullback. Technical indicators here are fairly bearish at this point. So it may take some time. Netflix is one of those stocks that just goes back and forth, back and forward. And all of a sudden, it just completely goes bananas to the upside. So... No interest in basically shorting this. This is probably as far as this stock will go. If we drop even further, then we have the 100 and the 50 right underneath here. And those will definitely be major support levels. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.